Okay, so conceptually, I've covered pretty much everything you need to know to set up a logic system where you're using an external MIDI instrument and make it work great. What I want to do over the next couple of tutorials is just expand that to talk about using several or at least two external instruments at the same time with Logic. So all the techniques and concepts are basically the same, but we're going to need some more inputs and outputs for interfacing MIDI in and out and also for audio in and out. Outside of that, there's not too much difference, but let's just go through the MIDI signal flow first and then we'll talk about the audio signal flow and go from there. In this example, I have four external MIDI instruments showing on my screen. Now, that kind of represents my project studio where I have my Motif Rack ES, which you're very familiar with now. Um, I've used it throughout the course. I have an Emu Proteus 2000. I also have a JV1080, and I have a classic Korg Triton. In the example that you see on the screen, I'm going to use my 25 key Akai MIDI controller to send MIDI into the computer. And as you can see, it's connected USB to the computer, so it's sending MIDI back and forth to the computer. Now, when we're using a single MIDI instrument, single external MIDI instrument, we use the one old school MIDI out port from the back of the Akai to connect to my motif or to the one external MIDI instrument. That won't do in this situation because it's only one MIDI output. So we need something like this, my Motu MIDI Express XT. This is going to give me the ability to have eight separate MIDI outputs coming from the computer, and I can go in eight times with separate MIDI ports also if I need. I'm going to use this graphic to represent the MIDI Express XT. Now, that's just the brand that I have in my studio. There are several options for uh, MIDI interfaces that have multiple MIDI ins and MIDI outs. So let's follow the signal flow. First thing we need to do is connect our MIDI interface to the computer. My Express XT connects via USB. All right, so what we would do then is take the first MIDI out port and connect it to the first external MIDI instrument. And then we would take the second port out and connect it to the second instrument. The third out to the third external instruments in and the fourth to the fourth external MIDI instruments MIDI input. Now, everything we've talked about has been MIDI out from the computer into the external instruments. But there are situations where you may want to send MIDI out of the external MIDI instrument back into the computer. Say for example, one of your external instruments is actually a keyboard also. That means that that device can input MIDI into Logic that can be recorded, that can go to any of the external MIDI instruments that are connected via your MIDI ports. In my studio, I have that classic Korg Triton, which is keyboard that can do just that. So in this situation, let's say for instance, external instrument two is a MIDI keyboard. We would need to connect the MIDI out from there to a MIDI in on our interface. And we would do it just like that. Take the MIDI out and connect it to the first MIDI in port. And then Logic can receive MIDI from that keyboard controller and it can act as the MIDI controller. In this example, we're not going to use the out into the input. So I'm going to get rid of that keyboard and break that connection. So MIDI would go in from your keyboard. Once it gets into Logic, depending on what track is selected and what port that track is talking to, that MIDI would leave via the USB cable, go into the MIDI interface. Then that MIDI would go out of whichever port that that track was assigned to. Port 1 would go to the input of the first external instrument. Port 2 would go to the input of the second external instrument. Port 3 to the third external instrument. And Port 4 to the fourth external instrument. 